Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this radical problem. So we have the square root of x is equal to the square root of 20 minus the square root of 5. So what I'm first going to do is I'm actually going to simplify this radical here, the square root of 20. Well, to do that, 20, what are some factors of 20? We have 5 times 4, right? And 5 is already prime, so we could leave that go. And But 4, how do we simplify 4? What are some factors of 4? The only factors of 4 are 2 and 2. So now these two are a group, so this is going to, 2 is going to be in our outside roots, and 5, because this is left alone, this is going to be inside the radical. So now we have 2 root 5 minus square root of 5. This is equal to the square root of x. So now whenever we're sub subtracting or even adding radicals, we always look for like terms. And like terms for radicals are when the number in the radical is the same. So as you can see, both of these terms have a square root of 5. So these two are like terms. And when we're doing like terms, we subtract the outside terms. So this square root of 5, this is actually 1 root 5. The outside, the outside number for this would be 1. So we're actually going to subtract 2 and 1 and leave the radical alone. We're not going to change the radical. So 2 minus 1, well, that's just 1. So now we have 1 and we keep the radical. So 1 root 5 is equal to the square root of x. And 1 root 5 is the same thing as just square root of 5. So now I'm going to square both sides to cancel out the radical. Now the power is opposite of the root, so these two cancel out. And on our left-hand side, we have x is equal to, again, the power is opposite of root, so these two cancel out, and 5. So this is our answer.